Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be using J Diction Resin Creep, but also mixing some rose gold flakes, leaf flakes. I'm going to actually brush, kind of use a paintbrush and just brush them onto the mould itself and then pull the resin creep on top. So I'm just going to start by giving my moulds a quick clean and then putting this on top. I like to give my mould a quick clean with just baby wipes. Just really helps to get all the dirt off. Nice, quick and easy. So this is something I haven't done before, just thought I'd give it a try and see if it's a viable option for these coasters to have rose or gold leaf basically running through them on the top surface and see if it sticks with the resin creep. Okay, so I'm just going to let them dry out. So these moulds are like crystal style moulds with all the nice rough edges. So I'm simply just going to take a bit and just kind of like dab it down. want it to kind of stick to the mould so it doesn't float or move around too much once I pour the resin cream in. I wonder if this tool will silicone nib would work better. Let's give it a try. Well yeah that works much better than a brush.
Okay, I'm pretty happy with the placement on those. Don't want to get too overboard. And now I'm just going to mix the resin cream. So in a separate cup, I'm just going to weigh that out and then I'm going to mix them together. So you're just going to give that a stir until that's all nicely combined. There we go. So like I say, for this one, I'm going to leave it white. So. And then I'm just going to give them a quick tap, make sure all of the areas are filled. And there's no bubbles. And then I'm just going to mix up some more and get the rest finished. As you can see with this one, if it hasn't stuck down properly, it will float and rise within it. But I'm hoping the design on the front will still look really cool. Okay, it has been a little over half an hour now. My moulds are ready to, well, it's ready to demold. So let's see how this one turned out, whether this works or whether we need to kind of stick down the gold leaf a bit more in a different way. As you can see, it's pulling away from the mould very nicely there. And that's the first one. So you can see there, it has actually kept it at the top. It's all actually really nice and smooth. Same again with this one. Wow. I absolutely love the way that has come out. Again, just pulling them away from the edges first, and then I like to flip and push the mould out. And as you can see, there is next to no residue left on this mould. I can see a few small specks to clean up, but the majority has gone and stuck with the resin creep. So 
up all of the details of the edges of these moulds as well. As you can see, some of these bits is quite intricate. And they are very nicely picked up on these moulds. I really like the way those have come out as a set. So now all I will do with these ones is give them a wax over to make them waterproof as resincrete is already a heat proof product and then those will be ready for my store. Thank you for watching guys.